But first, protests around the country today. As many say, not everyone in the U.S. is truly free. We've seen demonstrations from Pittsburgh to Washington, D.C., including right here in Kansas City. 41 Action News reporter Mackenzie Nelson attended today's Freedom Rally as people told her the fight for justice is nowhere close to being over. This Freedom Rally is wrapping up now, but more than 100 community members and activists were gathered here at Mill Creek Park to talk about Independence Day and the meaning behind it. We're not at all. This isn't an anti-America rally at all. Community activist Justice Horn says the Freedom Rally was about just that, freedom. For July 4th, basically stating that we're not all free until everyone's free. So really highlighting the progress that has been made and needs to continue to happen, not only in the USA, but also here in Missouri and Kansas City. As protests have taken place across the nation in recent weeks, organizers of the Freedom Rally say they want to continue the conversation. The time is now to make a change and we're continuing this momentum. Chloe Cooper is the co-founder of the Kansas City Community Bail Fund. The local organization paid to bail out a number of protesters who were arrested during the demonstration. Like many of you, I was tear gassed. I was arrested. I was treated like a criminal while exercising my constitutional rights. That ain't right. As the organizer of the Freedom Rally, Cooper said that one word doesn't mean the same for everyone. This does not represent a holiday to celebrate freedom. Uh, we believe that nobody can truly be free until everyone is free, and that means free from systemic racism, free from police, police brutality, free from an unequal education system, and the list goes on and on. to fight this fight and end racism because black lives matter. In Kansas City, Mackenzie Nelson, 41 Action News.